Yes, we are back. Back again in Train Sim World 2. Back again to look at a new route, which means we're looking at like we're being back again in uh, the Germany land because of the DB and the Dresden to Chemnitz. That's that's a place. <coughs> well, to cough. Uh, yes, it's going to be having another look. Having another look. No, it's starting well, isn't it? Okay. <coughs> oh, now I've got a cough. Uh, we're having my first look. Yes, that's better. Uh, at this this one, Taranta Taranta. I'm probably pronouncing it all wrong. Three, see on the screen. Look, I'm pointing at my screen. Taranta Rampy one. That's what we're gonna look at. I've not driven it before. I've not even looked at it before. I've done nothing on it. So we'll be looking at it. Well, I will be. You may have already looked at it. I haven't because I've just said that I haven't. So it's that one. If you're watching this on YouTube, well, are you in for a, a surprise? Uh, this going out not on Railway Wednesday. This is going to go out on a Friday. There's normally trains on a Wednesday on YouTube as well as on Twitch. On some Mondays there's some OMSI and then some Sundays there's some stuff as well. This is getting more confusing, isn't it? It just it, I should really sort this out, shouldn't I? Anyway, let's click on the go thing and see what happens. So I'm, I'm guessing we're going to get some introduction to a train now will probably be a thing. How is one? Asked the Queen. Welcome to Taranta Rampy Dresden to Chemist. 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 That's the one. Oh, that's Track IR. Welcome to Trains in World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. Oh, press E to begin. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. Okay. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left and right. We can look up. We can look down. We can look over there to the left. I think, maybe, possibly slightly. Oh, there it is. And uh, we can go over there to the right. Yep. Oh, follow the markers to navigate the station. Oh, there's a board thing. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. We'd like to think there'd be a plan of the route somewhere in the train station, but okay. Oh, we're going up there, are we? Do do. Hello, German people. We well, might not be German people. You could be other people. Oh, we're going over there. Oh, it's diseasily. I can hear it. It's it's diseasily. Where are we going? Down there. Okay. Oh, it sounds nice. We just take a slow stroll. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, there'll be some links in the doobly doo below. One to where you can uh, get this route for the Trains in World 2. Uh, one to the Twitch page where you can watch this madness live. Because apparently I am. Uh, and one to the Discord server where you can join other idiots that are also into the trains and things open the staff door and enter the cab am I staff a then? a lot of time will be spent operating trains so when ready sit in the driver's seat I will sit in the driver's seat I've sat I've sitted you can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives check it out now and then return to the game when ready okay I paused I've returned a heads-up display has appeared on the right-hand side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. Well, nothing currently. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. Okay. Oh, press E. That's me. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. How do you have a neutral direction? Is that direction just isn't any other direction this is the power display power a number will indicate what position the power control is in okay that's that sounds like a thing these are brake indicators they show the state of the various brake systems allowing independent management of them hi cryptic 
In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. No, we don't want challenging. This train is ready to go. Push the indicated handle forwards to get moving. Oh, we're moving. There is movement. There is there is definitely movement. The Dresden to Chemnitz I'm trying to take a I'm trying to take a screenshot. Kilometers and runs both express and mainline passenger services, as well as a variety of freight from the local yeah, industry. I'm trying to take a screenshot. There we go. Thank you. Uh, hi, Cactus. Is that the throttle? Oh, is it? Oh, it's not letting me touch anything, is it? Because it's it's taking. I it's like no. Okay, that's a <laughs> that's a window. What a bizarre opening window! Why would you have a window from a McDonald's? Is it just going to keep me going now? What's what's happening? Train Sim World 2 allows you to ride and drive from a selection of camera views. Let's take a look now while exploring this train. I can do the looking around thing. Hi Skippy. done that. I see N. You've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what <laughs> Welcome to Saxony, located in eastern Germany. Lean into yesteryear and experience the challenge of unique tilting diesel traction. Power out of Dresden, tackle steep gradients bordered by forest and drive through the picturesque valleys. Along the way, be sure to Place route maps, no. paint garden gnomes, no. restock the first aid points, no. and put up tourist posters. No. Choose commuter, express, or freight traffic. You pick the pace. This is Taranda Ramp, Dresden to Chemnitz. Taranda Ramp. Why? Okay. Uh, White Fang, uh, over two years indeed. 26 of the moss. Thank you very, very much for that. Doesn't time fly when you've got a clock strapped to a sparrow okay uh and yeah i'll get passengers coming up asking for a mcflurry whilst doing like 100 miles an hour you never know oh now i'm going to get introductions to the train so he just told me to jump in the train and do the driving thing and now i'm going to get an introduction to it okay welcome to driver training Today you'll be taken through the operation of a BR612 diesel multiple unit in DB traffic red livery. Good to know. During this brief introduction, we'll go through the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. I will climb aboard. Do you have uh, bur burger bins? Maybe not burger bins, burger buns. Oh, I can't get up the steps. Uh, set the battery power to on. What? Hey, what? There? Oh, wow. Okay. That's a thing. That is low. Oh, hang on, they walked into a thing then. Hi, Aiden. I got to set the battery power to on again. What? Surely, okay, all right. I'm not. I'm not complaining because this apparently is part of my job. But opening things and turning things on, turning on. Okay. Take a seat in the driver's position. 
this is where you'll be spending most of your time. Uh, Skippy, thank you for that. CN, there is no escape now. Welcome to Le Madness. Hi, John. Wow, Trent, many bits. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, okay. Firstly, we need to activate the control desk. I've just... T okay, nope, fine. Oh, oh, my thing's missing. Okay, it's in now. This DMU is powered by two Cummins QSK-19 diesel hydraulic engines, producing 750 horsepower each. Ooh. The engines need to be started individually and are designated Engine 1 and Engine 2. Wow. When multiple units are connected, their engines are grouped by these designations. So if there's three lots, it's Engine 1. To start Engine 1, hold the Engine 1 start switch in the start position. I was talking. If there's three lots... It starts with engine one, engine two, engine three, then. Hold the engine group one switch in start. Oh, over there, then. Okay, engine group one, and start. Repeat this for engine two. Oh, that sounded a bit naff. Is engine group two started? Yes, it has. To enable hydraulic transmission, switch the power switch to on. Power switch on. Set the brake key to activate the train brake. All these keys I've got to carry around with me. Brake key's on. Oh, I've got to turn it on. I've inserted it. On. The consist parking brake. Uh, that one. Uh, there we go. The reverser determines the direction of travel. No. Take a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. Yep, all looks good to me. Doors are doing the unlocking thing. We have unlocked the door. Sound like someone squeezing a very uh, young duck. Uh, press release passenger door. I've done that. Hang on, I've got to do it here, haven't I? It's time to get going. Set the doors to lock. I've just opened them. Okay. Set to lock all. Oh, hang on. I've got to do it by the thing. Oh, hang on. Lock all. Uh, that's many bits, Trent. That's not much train for 1,500 horsepower. Uh, press close passenger doors. There's a lot of button pressing going on here, isn't there? Set the train brake to running. I don't want to run. I want to drive a train. The combined power brake handle allows you to control acceleration and braking. No. To apply power, hold it in the forward position. The handle allows you to apply a specific amount of power. Once you have reached the power you require, letting go will allow it to move back to the hold position. Oh god, it's one of those. Why can't they just make it simple? Why have they got it? Okay. All right, not 19% of the powers. Right, we are doing the moving thing of the forward in the direction of the going in that, that way. Right, that's 50% of the powers. I'll open McDonald's window. It is. It's a McDonald's. Yep. Yeah. yeah. If you'd like to drive down to the next Hosting window. Oh, hang on. Used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Moving the handle back to the middle will lower the engine power to zero. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of brake by moving the combined power handle into braking and apply braking force in a similar way to applying engine power. Okay, stop at Floha. 
Right, let's give it some of the, the beanies. <laughs> That's a cut cost somewhere. What, they bought their windows from McDonald's? It's really bizarre. Uh, okay, so we got 9.9k to go to Floha. I really received a level 1 hype train emote. Ooh. Thank you guys, gals and Trent. Uh, let's get more of the beans really, shouldn't I? Because we've got a 90 limit. Turn the volume down a little tiny bit. There we go. All of the beans, just all of them. Power max. All right, 2.5k, we got 130 limit. You think McDonald's use slidey windows instead of opening windows? Well, that's only because the, the, the Deutsche Bahn has got all the opening ones, that's why. looking train actually looks better than like the 166 and stuff does over here a window is a window today children will be going through the square the shaped window oh white fang there is some of the the the, the night body didn't like that Ah, the Germans like the opening windows. That is what it is. You have a gold train back. You have. That was the horn. It's quite, it, 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 well, I don't know if it's a horn or a whistle, it's a, it sounds like a duck call, like that's, as... I'm also going quite slow, I've just realised. Let's get it all of the beans again, power max. So I don't know where. So stop at Flowheart and stop at U U and Uderan. Then do an emergency brake stop. Okay. You always hear it changing gear. The horn is quite whistly. See, it feels fast, doesn't it? But it's 138k. Oh my god, I'm going to end up speeding now, aren't I? I have to try some of the breakage to see if I can get it to actually slow down. Okay, lots of the braking going on here. Oh, a little bit of speeding. Wow, that's not really fast on slowing down. 
Okay, so stopping is going to be really interesting. Uh, how's things? Things are good. Okay, so it took a while there to slow down, which means stopping when we actually come to do the stoppy thing. And... Uh-huh. What have we got? 3.6k to flow her. Oh, wow, okay, that's... Okay, yep, all right. I'm de definitely exceeding the limit of the speedy thing there. Oh, wow, yeah, it doesn't want to slow down at all. Okay, yeah, this thing's not going to want to stop when I come to the station. So there's the commuter one, which I'm guessing is this train. It said that there was some freight, which, you know, me and freight. Mm -hmm. And there was also a high speed thing. I'm guessing after this we'll get to drive one of the other trains. There's a train brake as well as a dynamic brake. Uh, yes. You are now approaching the first stop. Apply a small amount of brake force using the combined power handle to achieve a comfortable and safe stop. If I haven't got a button map to the train brake. Spin the handbrake. There isn't one. This is uh, the German technology okay now we should be able to do it on a dynamic brake if I'm just slow enough we are Germans this week if it's all the diesel goodness all right 700 meters so I'm gonna have to do some of the Oh, now it's doing it. Hey, what? Why? Oh, I know why. Okay, forget that. It was me being a donut. I was pressing the wrong button on my keyboard. I did have a button mapped, but I was using the dynamic accelerator y handle -y thing. Okay, slowing it down. The German technology is quite overcomplicated. Oh, okay. Well, no, that's I've I've done. You know what's happened there now is I've I've done the, the stopping too early, haven't I? We just we just. We just creep forward slowly. Uh, it's fine. We, we're, we're stopping at the place. Oh, I've got to do the brakey thing again. That was perfect. Ish. Ah, I haven't got to use the overly complicated buttons this time. How are my passengers? Hello, passengers. No one in here. Oh, the light's on in here as well. A bit dark in it. Is there a thing for the lights? Uh, got a heater. Looks dangerous. I bet there's one for internal lights. Still look. Uh, what's that? Cab lights, no. Uh, compressor, GST, desk light, uh, one of these maybe? Train lights, ah, there we go, train lights on. Suppose I did something. Oh, we can lock the doors now. Uh, lock right.
Proceed to the next stop unguided this time and see how you get on. An emergency brake test will occur during the journey. Will it now? Okay, so dynamicy brakey thing off. Accelerate thing on. That's definitely interesting as a horny thing goes, as being a horny thing. Alright, 6.9 of the kilometres to the place to the Odoron. Odoran, 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 the, the place we're going to. Uh, streams coming up the rest of the week, by the way. Tomorrow night, for those watching live, anyway. Not for those watching on YouTube, because this would be really confusing. Uh, tomorrow night, back with the MSFS, continuing our flight away from New York City. Uh, Friday night is farming. Uh, could possibly be our last stream on Elm Creek for a little while. Mm -hmm. Saturday lunchtime, something. Uh, Saturday evening, uh, some trucking. And Sunday lunchtime, the first look at what could be our new farm for a while on Farm Sim. Does it have a light, high, a low, a light? <coughs> <coughs> Does it have a lion ho horn? Is this, is this a horn? It, do, it does have a, a lion a ho horn. I don't know why I'm going so slow, actually. Yeah, why are we stopping with the emergency? You have spilt my coffee all over the table. It is like being on a driving test, and at some point, I'm going to get told to do an emergency stop. It's going to be a case of. Uh Right, 110 limit in 1.1 of the kilo watts it. So I'm guessing it's going to stick us in the high speed train then to have a look at that. And then it's about to stick us in the diseasily thing. Right, come on in, we're only 4.8 things away from the thing. And why aren't we stopping at every station? It's, if it's supposed to be a, like a little commuter type train thing, why aren't we stopping at all of them? Uh-huh. Answer me that, why don't you? I want to be stopping at all of the stations to pick up the passengers. I do apologise, by the way, for any Germans that may be watching and slightly offended by my Indian accent. Look quite nice. The scenery looks quite nice. <clears throat> right, 1.1k, and we got a 90. So we'll see if it slows down in its own time. We don't want to rush these things. Gotta take your time, take it easy with a Cadbury's caramel. <laughs> or wang on some brakes. <clears throat> there we go, 90. See, we actually kept it under the speed limit as well. I am totally and utterly not a professional. Idiot, some people have said. 
I'd almost agree. I'll leave you read that out then. For those watching on YouTube, that won't make any sense. Right, come on in. We've only got 2k to go to me. Odoron, order in the place. Udoran. And then Star Wars. Would you like fries with that? What's that thing there? Why have we got like. What's the two balls in a thing? What's that for? Well, now I'm going this slow. <coughs> we will do the speeding up thing. That's a tablet holder. What, to put your paracetamol under? Or your hay fever tablet? It crush it, surely. I suppose you could put your iPad there, couldn't you, and watch a film while you're driving. A bit of Netflix on. <laughs> Suicide pill. <laughs> yeah, just a cyanide pill. Stick it under there. We will now test the emergency brake and go over the critical steps needed to recover the train. Okay. Set the train, train brake to emergency. Seem very emergency. Now that the train has come to a stop, we need to recover it so that we can continue our journey. Surely take it out of emergency now. Wait for the brakes to release. Are they they're gonna, what, they gonna text us when they're done, or what's gonna happen? They're gonna write to us, give us some sort of email. We can now continue our journey. They're rolling backwards. There's backwards rolling going on. Why did we stop it on a hill? Oh, there we go. No, we're fine. We're going forwards again. We only got one engine running as well. Oh no, we're okay. The other engines just cut in. Three, save fuel. Run it on one engine. <coughs> Go on. Why have we stopped? I demand an, an, an explanation of the stoppage. I stopped because Mr. Man told me to stop. I will squeeze my duck at you if you do not tell me why you stopped. I demand to know why we have stopped on the tracks. I'm going to be late to get to Odoran, which I'm sure was in Star Wars. That's Alderaan. Alderaan? Alder I don't know, it's a place. Mr. Man, if you like rules. That's almost pornographic, train spotter. Almost pornographic. Right, we got uh, 900 of the things to go to the place where we're going to be doing the thing. Let's turn the brakes off, and then we can uh, do the thing with the with the breakage thing and the thing, you know, you know the thing. But we do the 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 thing. quite it's not really a horn is it it's it's definitely a whistly a a, a, a warn or hoosle it's not a whistle it's not a horn 
I've definitely slowed down extremely early for this. Right, yellow light. So yeah, for those watching, if you're toying with purchasing this for the Train Sim World 2, if you do an exclamation mark root in uh, in the thing, then uh, a thing will happen. Hornissel. Exactly. Oh, I may as well accelerate again, because I'm now, you know, just like curb crawling in a train. I was curb crawling in a bus yesterday. I don't like this. It's like a step change thing, isn't it? It holds the the amount of power that you set it at. Not sure if I like that. No, not train. Route. Or route, as our American cousins would say. why he stops all the way down okay yeah all right yeah i i know i did a thing there okay well uh, we'll move forward slightly four meters short there we go So, you have one job. The run to ramp. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train. Really? You're going to leave? You're going to let me? That's it now, is it? Eh, hey, you'll be fine. It's like day one. There's the train. You know how to do that? Off you go. Stations are down that track. All right, what we got now? Is it another train? traffic jam surely we want to be driving hang on a minute hang on a minute hang on a minute hang on no because we want to be learning to drive the no we're gonna do this properly i mm, i love train sim world 2 i really do but it why not do these things in a proper order show you the route then get you to drive the trains We've done that one. That's right. BR143 introductions. We've got all these things to be introduced to. See? That's the same ones. I was thinking there's going to be loads of them. Uh, what have we got? So we've done that one. Done that one. So we'll do the 143 now. Why not just do that? Just show me the route. Then give me the driver, the driver, the, the, the you know, the drivey. I can't words. The, <laughs> the driving introductions of the trains. Welcome to driver training. Today you'll be taken through the operation of a BR143 electric locomotive in DB traffic red livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. I would do the climbing aboard thing. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm just going to try and drive the train here. Um, I can't, how? <laughs> um, oh, hang on. Oh, of course we're going to, we have to take a run and jump at it or something. Oh God, I just, see, why can't you go in the air where the engine is? Okay, we just. We'll need to turn the loco on. Head to the control panel. No, no, no. I'm not going to... No, I'm not going to go through... What? Uh, hang on. Back through there again. What? Walk to the control... Where am I going now? Oh, down this side. Okay. 
To activate the control desk, the battery will need to be turned on. This locomotive is powered by a pantograph that draws power from the overhead lines. Set the pantograph selector to rear. Okay, back Take there. a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. What, not at home with my family? Okay. Set the reverser handle. The headlights will need to be set to let others know that this locomotive is operational. Headlights to white. Okay. Headlights to on. Yeah. And then right headlight to white. Okay. Brakes charging. How much is it going to charge me? Well, I haven't got my pants up. My pants are down. Now activate the pantograph. Oh, there we so go. It raises up and makes contact with the overhead you continuum. raise me up. The train is ready to be energised. Pants this are up. controlled by the main circuit breaker. Pants are now up. Okay, main circuit breaker. Uh, close. No, oh, close. Oh, that was a noise. We got a window. Oh, we have. Oh, nice window. That's a proper horn. Take a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the door. Yeah, looks good to me. Hang on. We are loading passengers. What else we got here? Oh, they're not operational. Why would you put buttons there and not let me play with them? Inline power, pants, pants, main circuit breaker, traction motor, compressor, nothing. The phone, contact signaler. I can't pick up the phone. All right, Fred, how's it going? Emergency brake valve. Heater. What's that? Oh. It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked. Yeah, just let them get off. It's fine. So reverse it to forward. The brakes will need to be released on the train before we can depart. Use the indicated lever to set the train brake to running. So I'm running. Wait for the brakes to release. We are waiting for them to release. Still waiting for them to release. The force selector determines how much tractive effort force is being supplied to the train. So what now? This is definitely Star Wars related, isn't it? Okay, force selector. The speed selector allows the driver to easily amend the speed of the locomotive as required. Oh Once God. the desired speed is set, indicated by the red needle on the speedometer, the locomotive will automatically adjust to meet that speed. Okay, set the speed selector to 80. 70, 80, okay. Oh! Well, I'm going to read it as I say it. See it. 3RH4RD. Uh, thanks very much for the follow. Say what you see. Right, so the speed thing you set to the speed you want, and it'll maintain that. That's quite cool. I like that. I should get to 80 and then stop. Well, not stop, but not get any faster than 80. Okay. 
although it didn't actually get to 80, it stopped to 75. But, oh, now we're getting there slowly. Okay, well it's electric, but I actually quite like it. It's got that sort of oldie feel to it. Alright, stop at Chemnitz Hilbersdorf. Why have we got the five, six, seven? Is that a distance we've covered? We're going to go to ten now, or is that what's what's happening? Nope. I think we're only going to get nine out of it. Nine. Okay, one K to go until the place with the thing and the You're now approaching the first stop. Use the speed selector to reduce your speed. And you can use the train brake to provide additional brake. theory by me setting zero it should automatically apply the brakes and slow me down to zero it's actually quite a good system I may have to actually use some braking as well though it would seem. celebrated a year of following 18 days ago we really should seek some sort of medical attention I stopped following me about three years ago I'd had enough by then I'm not here for most of the streams this is a recording I recorded this last Tuesday afternoon Lock the doors. Proceed to the next stop unguided this time and see how you get on. An emergency brake test will occur during the journey. An emergency brake test will occur. So we got 110 limit to release the brakes. If we set our speed at 110, does that mean you're from the past? You're from the past, I'm from the future. Yeah, definitely like this whole setting the speed thing. That's quite cool. Nida Visa is uh, the next stop then in 4.4k.
see now it's counting down. Ah, it's the signals. It's counting down to the signal. It's meters, 600 meters, 500 meters. No, it's not. Counting down to the end of the world. It's counting down to something now. Why is it on one? Now it's on zero. It's traction force. Oh, okay. oh, so it's the amount of time left before it's actually got to the speed you want. Uh, so as it puts a bit on, it's on one. As it coasts, it's on zero. Okay, that sort of makes sense. Slow down to a hundred. Uh, Hydrakem. Test the emergency brake and go over the critical steps needed to recover the train. To begin, set the train brake to emergency and then wait for the train to come to a complete stop. Train brake is set to emergency. So I've still got the speed levers set to 100 k's. Next, you will need to set the speed selector to off. Speed selector to off. Uh, thanks for the host, Sim Hub. The brakes are still applied and will need to be released. Move the train brake to running. I'll move the train brake to the running position. Wait for them to do the release. There's a bush in the way, tree even. There's a thing in the way. Some foliage is in the way. Close those. If I get, can I, oh no, it's waiting for me to do the thing in there. It's taking control. Set the main circuit brake to close. Okay. Finally, set the speed selector to the indicated speed to get the train moving again. Well, okay. Nice work. We can now continue the journey. If I close that window, it makes no difference whatsoever. I was thinking I could close it and then I'd be able to put the game audio back up a bit. I had to turn it down because it was quite loud. Right, 1.1 of the K's to the needle, 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 needle. Night of Visa. That place. Uh oh, we got a red. Uh, Gordon, thanks for the host. Okay, I definitely overbraked then. Okay, I didn't actually want to. I didn't. I didn't want to do the. I didn't. Okay, no, I didn't want to do the stopping thing. But okay, if you insist. We just, the station is just there. It's just there. Right, now do the thing. Okay, now stop this time in the place where you're supposed to stop. Don't go stopping at the early. Stop in the place with. No, don't do the slowing down now. Come on. Don't do the slowing down now. There we go. See, you can do it. It's not that difficult. Apparently it is. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, this isn't easy. What was I saying earlier about having to just set the speed? That'd be easy? Maybe not. Right. Do the breaky thing. Yay! We made it. Unlock doors. Okay. Doors have done the unlocking thing. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this locomotive. Okay, so that's the second train. Uh, actually, it was going to take me to the next training thingy, wasn't it? Um, training. So that's three of them. So we've done the look at the line. We've done the BR612. We've done the 143. Let's do the 766.2. See what this is all about. It's probably very train-like. When it, when it does something. When, when when something happens. Anything? Oh, there we go. Welcome to driver training. Today you'll be taken through the operation of this DBBR 766.2. During this brief introduction, we'll go through the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. I, when I'm ready, I might be an hour or so, but okay. There is a good, there are some. <laughs> he's a good, he's a good, no. There is, <laughs> there is a good selection of tra I can't get up. Oh, I can. We will need to turn the power on in this unit. Head to the control panel. Set the battery switch to the on position. That's a big switch. Signal lights to headlights. Okay. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending. Hang on, I'm gonna close time. this door to stop weirdos coming in. Oh. A cool little seat. What's that lever do? Siffer off, siffer on. What's, what's the siffer lever? Anyway, uh, okay, sit down. That was a noise. Set reverser to neutralis. Neutralis. Now activate the pantograph so that it raises up and makes contact with the overhead. You raise me up. The train is ready to be energized. This is controlled by the main circuit breaker. Set it to close. No, close. Hold the train line power switch to start. For how long? An hour? A couple of hours? Until the noise goes. Set headlights to headlamp reduced. Okay. Set the brake key to activate the train brake. On. Train brake to running. Wait for the brake system to charge me. I don't know how much it's going to charge me. Hopefully not a lot. We got a window in this one. We got no window. What? What if I want some some air of the freshness? I'm, I'm going to suffocate. I'm going to die in the here. Determines the direction of travel. It's going to be okay. What? Sorry. Forward. This train is now ready to depart. Use the throttle to apply power and get moving. During the course of your journey, ensure that you're monitoring your speed and the amount of power that is applied. If too much power is applied from this control car, then this could cause the traction motors of the rear locomotive to cut out and prevent further power from being applied. Oh, so giving it the proverbial beans in this one could cause issues in the other one. Okay, that's that's the thing. Right, we've got to reach 40 of the kilometers in the, um, the hour time scale. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. 
Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of brake by moving the train brake. I was over speeding. I am over speeding. There is some over speeding that's happening. I'm now going to do the less of the speeding of the overs. That's a lot of lines we crossed there. Okay, it stops, stops, what? No. Stop at Dresden Plowen. What's the... It's another whistly, horny, horny whistle thing. What is going on? Why are you doing the whistly horns? Oh, more power. I'm guessing we're going down there to the left. Okay, no, that's not where I expected him to go because the things over there I thought would be going down there. I'm guessing we're going down here and turning the left place way thing. Uh, I think that might be sidings. We should do the coasting thing now until we get to the speed limit change place of the speed limit to where we change the speed to the place where it changes. And then we'll do some of the increasing of the limits no increasing of the speeds to get to the limits which we can do now in fact it's very quiet this train i like the other the you know the, the one we just did you know the one i like that one so far i'm not so keen on the dizzy easily one although this is actually conventional isn't it because it just you set the power and that's it there's none of this knocky levelly thing. There's none of this setting a speed limit thing. This is just apply power, work it out yourself. That's I can my brain can cope with that. Right, 700 metres to we stop at Dresden Plowen. Here we are in a Dresden Plowing Festival, we will. Down here with our plows. You're now approaching the first stop. Apply a small amount of brake force using the train brake to achieve a comfortable and safe stop. I don't care about comfortable and safe. Just stopping. That's all I care about. I don't care about it being comfortable. I don't care about it being safe. I don't care if all the passengers ended up like down one end of the, the thing. Stopping somewhere near the place where I'm supposed to stop, roughly on the platform, I'm happy. Ish. Someone's graffitied all over the thing. Hundred meters to go. So this is what? This is the third train. Not bad. Of the three, this is my favourite. Probably very late. Again, don't really care about being on time either. Going that slowly, you're still overstopped. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. Yeah, looks good to me. Off they all get. Off to do their things that they're doing. Going to places that they're going. Going to see Grandma, off to work, 
going to rob a bank, you know, the general day-to-day -day things that we all do. It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked. I can do that. I've done that. We will now cover traction locking and how to recover the train. A traction lock can come into effect in several different ways. If power is applied whilst the brakes are still applied, a traction lock will be engaged. Another instance of where this happens is if power is applied whilst the passenger doors are open. Set the train brake, same train, wow, train brake to full service. Apply some power. The traction lock has now been triggered. This is represented on the HUD by a red outline on the power display. It's there. To recover from a traction lock, we need to ensure that power is not being applied. Set the throttle back to the off position. Throttle is off. Finally, we need to make sure that the train brake is... Train brake to running. Nice job. The traction lock has now been disengaged and we're now able to continue the journey. Proceed to the next stop unguided this time and see how you get on. Hopefully okay. Fretal Potts Chapel. That's the name of a place. In 3.3 .3 of the things. That is the next stop. So this is three of the trains the, the, in the quantity of the how many there are, I don't know. Then we may be doing a thing, well no. We were going to do a thing to enable people to hopefully try and get rid of some of their points but I may be changing now because a thing's happened that's going to stop us doing the thing when we wanted to do the thing so we may have to redo the thing that we were going to do another time in to enable you to use the things to do a thing which would either mean that you gain or lose things yeah that makes sense <laughs> I'm not German I don't know how they're pronounced I've not worked out that every German station name pronunciation Fretel Potts Chapel that's how it's written if you want it pronounced differently write it differently can I repeat that uh, go back and watch the VOD And if you work out what I meant, let me know. <laughs> we were going to do a thing, but now we're not doing a thing because the thing's happened. So we'll do the thing that we were going to do at another time. Uh, because we need some time with the thing before we can do the thing. That's the, 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 the short version. Not Nico short, but you know, short. Right, one point uh, thing of the one point seven of the things. It was quite simple. Tomorrow night we've got a random stream uh, in the form of the flying, as if the rest of them aren't random enough. Uh, flight tomorrow, Friday night farming, our last. Uh, stream for a little while anyway uh, on Elm Creek uh, Saturday lunchtime I've got no idea I can't think that far ahead uh, Saturday night trucking uh, continue no starting a new trip round Iceland uh, not the supermarket the place and then Sunday afternoon uh, a look at our new uh, farm which doesn't give us much time to get it ready really it'll be fine Everything's a thing. Oh crap. 
Okay, no, nope, that's fine. I was, I was panicking then. Thinking we got 400 meters. Uh, and there's a red light, but that's where we're stopping, so we're okay. There is a supermarket called Iceland. Oh, I seriously thought I was going to do the overshotting then. Yep, we're all good. Fretal Pots Chapel. Unlock the doors. I am unlocking the left door. The left door is unlocked. Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating this train. I'm not going to remember how to start any of these, am I? When I actually come to do a route in one of them, I'll be like, I don't remember that. Uh, next training, BR185-6. Have we done that one? I'm going to, have to, I'm going to go back and double check myself. Uh, Explorey thing, training. It is that one. And then it's the 363. Okay, the 185-6. Another train. At this rate, we're already going to have time to do the training, and that'll be it. We'll actually get time uh, to do a, a route in anything. See, that's because you're putting in stupid mods into OMSI. Welcome to driver training. Today you'll be taken through the operation of a BR185.6 electric locomotive in Railpool livery. Ooh. During this brief introduction, we will go through the critical driving controls and freight operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. I, I think I'm ready. No one told me there'd be climbing involved in this job. I can't. Oh, hang on. No, there it is. In normal operation, this unit draws electricity from the overhead catenary via a pantograph. No. So since the pantograph is currently in the down position, we have to power the initial systems by priming the auxiliary battery. Okay. I'm holding the battery button. I've held it. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spent. Oh. With power available, use the reverser to activate the control desk. Set the reverser to neutralis. We'll need to wait for the brake system to charge. What? I've been spoken at in German now. What was that? Hang on, so is this an electric? Oh, it is. I've got wood. I've, I've, is that wood? I've got, I've got quite, I've got quite a lot of wood. We're still waiting. What have we got? Oh. We're waiting for the brake system to charge. Now activate the pantograph so that it makes contact with the overhead catenary. Pull your pants up. The locomotive is ready to be energised. This is controlled by the main circuit breaker. Energise. Headlights reduced. Oh, I was making a noise. Oh, I was making a noise. Wow, that sounds like... Oh, hang on. Oh, there you go. That one, that's why. Release the parking brake. Are we in a plane now? What's going on here? Why am I... Hang on, I've got to get up to do that. Bear with me. The reverser determines the direction of travel. So it's forward. For this introduction, we'll be driving the train a short distance before bringing it to a stop. The locomotive is already coupled to a train of wagons, so we'll be using the train brake. Release the brakes by setting the train brake to the running position. Okay. I like the audio from this. It sounds like I got a lot of electricity behind me. Because it comes in bottles, electricity, and it's all stored behind me. Wait. 
Waiting for the brakes to release. Waiting for the brakes to... Oh, they're released. This train is now ready to depart. Apply some power to get moving. Another slidey down window. They like their weird windows, don't they? We're moving. See, it's getting it rolling is the tough bit. It just seems weird having a freight train that's electric. That's better. I bloody traction lock, didn't I? I didn't release a brake all the way. It's very musical. Weird sounding train. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of braking force using the train brake. I am slightly doing the speedy thing. Stop at signal DMH5426. Oh, that one. Glad you said that one. It's a very pretty signal, that one. Scenery looks nice, though. Putting my wood through a gorge. Right, we got to stop in 1.3 to to one point. There's, there's some distance. We will now need to slow the train down and bring it to a stop. Use the train brake to apply some braking force. I'm doing that. Nothing's happening. That's, that's all of the train brake now. Okay, in fact we're going slightly downhill with a load of wood on the back. Don't go speeding up again. Yeah, I like this one, but the problem is this is um, freight, isn't it? I don't know how annoying that buzzing would get after a while. Right, it's so got to be prepared to stop down here in a hundred of the meters. Tür 
Okay, that's not bad. I don't know why he's talking Good at work. me in German. The train has stopped safely. That concludes all the basics of operating this locomotive. Okay, well that was a thing. That was very thing-like. Uh, BR363, may as well do that. Next training module, then now we know that's the last one. So yeah, quite a few trains with the route. Quite like that. Welcome to driver training. Today you'll be taken through the operation of a BR363 diesel locomotive. This brief introduction will cover critical driving controls and freight operations. Climb aboard to get started. I will do the climbing aboard thing. I think we've driven this thing before, haven't we, in one of the other ones. Can I? Oh, I can climb up. Oh, I'll walk. That seems quite dangerous. Health and safety. I've got to swing out the bloody side to get in there. <laughs> By the way, I hopped up the step. Oh, Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. To activate the control desk, set the master key to on. To allow fuel to flow into the engines, the fuel pump must be set to on. I think I'll just stand up in front of that before I sit down and do all this, but okay. To start the engines, press the engine start switch. To engage the hydraulic drive, the power switch must be activated. Press the changeover button to set this as the active throttle control. The reverser is used to set the direction of travel. To release the brakes, set the train brake to the driving position. For this introduction, you'll be performing shunting duties and forming a train. Oh God. This train is now ready for operation. The throttle in this locomotive is a little unusual. Push the control forward to accelerate faster and then move it back to the hold position to maintain the engine's RPM. My most favourite. Yes, I don't. I'm not a fan of shunting. Right, thirty k's. It's not so much the shunt, well it is the shunting I suppose, but it's the fact you've got to get out and run around the bloody place and set points and things. Coasting is a method. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of brake using the train brake. Right, stop there. Maybe. Okay, I was slightly confused for a second because that train by the side of me is also moving. German version of the Class 8, pretty much. Although I think uh, the Class 8 looks better. Uh, 
Right, so we've got to stop up here, and I'm guessing we'll have to come back all the way down there somewhere, all the way down here somewhere. At this rate, you won't actually be doing a full line run today. Maybe we'll save that for next time. Right, let's do some stopping here then. Set to reverse it to reverse. This yard features both automatic and manual junctions. The manual junctions will need to be set on foot before departing. Climb down now and make sure the junctions are set to the correct positions. Okay. I will get out. Smack myself in the face with a door. run all the way back down here. Okay. Junction right. Uh, lower the coupling arm. Oh, run all the way back down here again. Well, you could have told me to do that when I was back there. I'd rather make me run all the way down here first, but okay. Right, we will lower the coupling arm. Oh, wow, that's a thing. Liming. Complete the formation habins. What? Uh, I got to climb up the thing again. <laughs> Hello, little hop up inside there. Right. Sit in the driver's seat. Alright, so we've got to go backwards now. We've got to go and couple up to those ones down there. Providing some buffoon has just set the, uh, the points right. This is a thing that happens in train yards, and there are probably people that it's their job to, uh, you know, put wagons together and um, and that. And it, I should imagine it's probably quite rewarding. We hate the Habinses. They stole the precious. But I just imagine in a lot of yards nowadays, it wouldn't be, I don't know, there probably wouldn't be any manual points, maybe? It'll be done automatically. Right, so back up that that's about the hole down there. Where does that go? I'm gonna drive a train down there, would you? Oh, it's a road down there, that's why. Yeah, I think we're driving a train down there, that really confused the car drivers.
So I think we're going to pick up this one, come forward past these points where we are here, set that point we're coming up to now, go back and connect to that other one. I think that's going to be the thing. There probably are shunter drivers, which is probably quite well paid as well. But you get them in uh, truck yards, and you? you get the guys that drive the little shunter lorries around. They so just go moving trailers around all day. People have got all sorts of weird jobs. Right, so I, I shoved my thing out, so that should couple up to that automatically, shouldn't it? I'm not going to do the stopping thing, aren't I? Oh, the concentration is real. Oh, come on, really? That was a noise. Now you're coupled. Bring these wagons over to the second set to form a train. Right, so I've got to go reverse or forward. shopping yeah we've got a few companies around here that uh, repair shopping trolleys because they're expensive to buy come on little shunter These things are just really low geared, aren't they? Just designed to uh, move stuff around the yard, basically. Yes, this is probably all we'll uh, we'll do today. <laughs> is uh, drive all the different types of trains. So next week we'll come back and do a full line run in this. Four power. All of the beans it's been given. It's definitely form over function, isn't it? It's like yeah, where can we, can we can we fit the drivers in somewhere? Where can we put a fire extinguisher? I'll just shove it down by his knee. It'll be all right. Not really built for comfort, is it? So this thing isn't exactly built for speed. Right, so we've got to stop up here, and I'm guessing go backwards and couple up to the other one.
Oh, I've stopped early now. I didn't think the brakes would actually do anything. Come on. I'll have to wait for the brakes to release after I put the emergency brake on. No, it's not like that, is it? Okay. Alright, brakes release. Now we give some power. Come on, power! <laughs> I'm actually not going anywhere. Uh, oh, no, there we are. Okay, no, we're alright. We only got to stop there. Then we got back down there again. Go on, you can do it. It's just up there. Right, now we can... Oh, wow. Okay, it stops quick. A uh, couple to formation. Habins back down there. Okay, so... Reverse it into reverse. Break to... The releasey thing. And then do the going backwards thing. If we can do the going backwards thing, are we doing the going backwards thing? Come on. No, okay, I didn't release the brake then properly. Okay, no, we'll do this again. Brakes to release. Now I'll do the going backwards thing. Okay, shunting isn't easy. Oh, there we go. Okay, no, we're moving. Slowly. There we go. We're fine. We've got it. down there now and connect to those and yeah yeah that'll probably be it <laughs> we won't get a chance to do a full line run so uh, we'll do that next week it's not going back down where I
Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I just gotta do a thing. I think I might be slightly on the wrong track. Yeah, I should be over here, shouldn't I? Oops. Okay, so a little tiny bit more shunting required. Yeah, okay. So I need to be on... I need to be on this line here. And not, and not the one over there. So... <laughs> so I need to make sure that one is going to be set to take me down there then. Which it is... So the only one I got to change then is this one up here, isn't it? Uh, I'm confused. Uh, I am at the moment. So yeah, so it's just that first one, isn't it? Okay. Uh, eat, eat, eat. Okay, close the door. Right, so. So I've got to go back past that one. So that one's set. So I've got to go. Okay, right, so into forward. Release either hounds. Okay, and do the forward direction thing. Maybe. Maybe do the forward direction thing. Oh, it doesn't like it, does it? Right, okay. Right, now do the forward direction thing. Come on. Go on, go on. All right, it's so got to get past that one. Make sure this one sets. Take me down here. See, this is why shunting isn't easy. Right, I've got to make sure the back of the train clears that. It's just this first one I got set again. That one there. Wow. 
Wow, it slows down from 20 really quick, quickly, doesn't it? Uh, right, so let's uh, go back to there then. It's like we're doing 20Ks, then we're doing zero. Do, 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 do. Run, 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 run. Good thing it's not raining, isn't it? Okay, so switch this one to take me down the other way. And then that one's going to take me correctly down there. Okay, no, we're good now. Let's run back again. I just automatically assumed that it would be set correctly, but oh, how wrong was I? Do, 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 do. Okay, get back inside. Like three little steps. Okay. So, reversey into reversey. Breaking into the offy. I'll wait for those to actually do something this time. Give it a few seconds to sort itself out. So once the brakes release, we can then make our way backwards, hopefully now in the correct uh, thing, back towards the, the place with the things in. Right, let's see if it will move us now. Let's give it all of the beans. Or maybe not. Try again. Come on, little shunter. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Just go backwards a little tiny bit. You know you want to. There we are. See, once you're moving, you're fine. Did I actually open the window? Oh, it did. It's a very uh, basic interior, isn't it? Right, hopefully now I'm going the correct way. If I'm not, we've got bigger issues. Well, as long as the train bears round to the left down here, I think we're good. If it goes straight on, then uh, we've gone wrong again. Well, when I say we've gone wrong again.
No, we're okay. We're going left. And we're also going uphill as well. Well, don't flatten out now, because I'm going to be going too fast, aren't I? If 9.7 kilometres can ever be classed as being too fast. <laughs> World's slowest bit of shunting going on. So yeah, next time we'll do a full line run then. In one of the trains, probably the little um, the commuter one. It'd be nice to stop at all the stations. Yeah, well, from what I've seen of the uh, the route, it's quite nice. Mainly the shunting yard. God, I hope it doesn't want me to move these somewhere, because this little shunter will never pull these. I'm guessing I've got to get out and go and actually couple them. That was definitely a noise. Almost thought it was going to derail because I was going a bit quick. turn the game volume almost to zero because that is incredibly loud it, and it has one buffer has gone inside the other one wow that was uh, okay so I'm going to have to go forward a bit now to get them unglitched then come backwards a little bit <laughs> oh this isn't easy <laughs> hop up the steps right okay so we're gonna have to go forward Uh, the brakes don't like releasing on this thing, so let's see if we can get to go forward a bit. Yep, 
Come on, just go forward enough so that it'll uncouple. Yeah, I think it is because I went a bit too quick when I was reversing. Now it's not going to move forward. Okay, so release the brakes again. Okay, and tr try going forward again. Right, now stop. Now I'm going to reverse. And now try and go backwards. Very slowly. We actually couple now without. Oh, don't stop like that. Come on. You can do it. couldn't be any more gentle if I actually got okay let's put apply the brakes so I'm get see before I didn't actually have to get out and well, I did have to pull the little thing down I wonder if it's haven't pulled my thing down I bet it's that isn't it I bet I haven't pulled me stuck my thing out Is that to do that? Uh, I can only stand on the step. Manual coupling. Aha! Nice work. Now uncouple the locomotive from the wagons. Alright, I'll uncouple the locomotive from the wagons. Good exercise being a uh, shunter driver. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this locomotive. Yay! Is that all it took was 11 minutes? I felt like I was doing that for like three hours. Well, there we go then. Uh, our first look at um, Taranta Ramp, because that's what it's called. Um, we will, uh, next time we'll do a full line run. Uh, let's actually have a look and see what the uh, scenarios we've got. Fast line to Freiburg. Uh, traffic jam, that's the one it wanted me to do. Uh, an incident has occurred. Oh, it does look a bit bendy. Uh, okay, our signal train changes. So there's a couple we could do, actually. I'm going to do a couple of 45-minute ones and see what, uh, what happens. We'll do that next time. Um, let's go back to the main menu, get some audio. There we go. And yeah, there we go. We will do a four line run or a couple of four line runs uh, this time next week for those watching live. Uh, tomorrow night, though, back with uh, some flight, uh, joined by a couple of idiots. Um, three of them, probably. Uh, and then Friday night, back on the farm. Uh, Saturday lunchtime, something single player. Saturday night, some trucking. And Sunday afternoon, a look at our new farm. Uh, we are making the move from Elm Creek to somewhere new. Uh, thanks, you line chat, for keeping me company for the last, well, two hours. Uh, and uh, to uh, this lot, who are generally the idiots. Uh, oh, uh, not those ones. Uh, to Trent, uh, Skippy, and White Fang for the bits. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, to Dylan and Nightbot for doing no moderation. 
to 3RH for following, White Fang and CN for subscribing, Skippy, Simhub and Gordon for doing some hosting. Uh, thank you very much indeed. I will be back followed followed by, no, with some idiots uh, tomorrow night at 7-ish, uh, 6.30 uh, for some flight. Until then, if you have been, thanks very, very much for watching. <laughs>